What up? So today I'm gonna show you how to embroider on a little patch so you can make a dad hat. 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 So. First off, a huge thank you to Printify, an online printing website, for sponsoring today's video. So, I have a video where I sew directly onto the hat, but, but owie, scratched my nose. But this way it was actually easier because, one, I didn't have to like worry about trying to get a hoop to fit onto the hat. Also, there's part right here on the seam where the fabric doubles up and it's pretty hard to push through and pull out. I'll still put a link to the video on that last one because it was cool. I did take a existing hat that had embroidered on it and I de-stitched it, unstitched it, and put the thing on it and also did a split stitch on it. And if you wanna see that one, that's a good reference. Also another good reference is my first video where I show you how to make a patch. That video where I, I show you how to make a patch was actually the first video that like took off and it's the whole reason I do YouTube. So worth a watch, but okay, let's go. Here's the supply I'm gonna use. A hoop, some embroidery floss, acrylic paint, a paintbrush, and some fabric. The fabric that I like to use is like thin, but still you can see like the weave in it. And first thing you do is see how big you want your design and then start drawing it out on the fabric. Make it really hard to host. I'm just using a pencil. That way I can erase it, blah, 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 blah. And then I took some acrylic paint and I watered it down when I painted it on so that it wouldn't be so thick that it'd be hard to get a needle through it. Then put it in a hoop and we're ready to go. Take some embroidery floss, cut it, Tie a knot in one end, and then take the other end, and thread your needle. And coming from the bottom, you're gonna pull it up till your knot hits, and push it back down. And then just keep on going until you don't have a whole lot left. So this is what you can do on the bottom. So you're gonna split it into two things of three, then do a square knot right over left, left over right, cut off the excess. So that's what you do on the bottom. And then you start over. So this stitch, it's like a long short stitch. I kind of like to think of it like laying bricks. That's kind of what it looks like to me. But how you do it is you just start with a long one, then a short one, a long one, and a short one, and a long one. Short one, and then you're gonna come back, and on the second layer, you're gonna go right where the short one is, and put it right on top, and then go where those long one were, were, long ones were, long ones were, the long ones were. And anyways, I'm gonna little See how it's kind of like a, a brick pattern, you know? You know what I'm talking about? And you just keep on doing that over and over and over and over and over again, layer by layer. And I like to kind of just follow, in this case, the arc of the rainbow. And done. So then I'm just gonna cut it out. Hey, you cut that out. And cut out each individual little patch. And I took some fabric glue and I put it all along the backside and rubbed it in nice, trying to hopefully keep the stitchings together when I cut it thinner. Right here, I just cut off even more of that edge and took some glue on my finger and then just put that right on the edge of the fabric. That way it won't fray when you try to stitch it on the hat. So I lined it up on the hat how I wanted and then took that fabric glue again and just smooshed it on there and smooshed it on the hat, make sure it's in the place that I wanted and did that to all three of those little guys. Whoop. Swoop, 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 swoop. And the blue guy. And then I took some more of that floss. Tried to find one that was the same color as the hat. And came up from the bottom and just sewed along that tiny edge of fabric. Just did it over and over and over again until they were all sewn into place. Lastly, I'm just gonna do this little stitching, and voila, we're done. So, here's the hat. I have a dumb top knot. But I really like how it looks. I've actually wanted to sell this hat for a while, but the original hat was actually designed by my ex-girlfriend. Even when she was my girlfriend, she's like, no, you can't sell my design, which I get, I totally get it. So I'm not gonna be selling multiples of this design, but I do wanna auction this hat off, and I'll be doing that in the comments. And all the proceeds will go to the charity of your choice. I tried to change this one up enough where I could change it, like did the words and whatnot. And even that she was like, it's still my design, blah, blah, blah. Had a good old argument. 
So I did change the design even more and I'm gonna throw them on these black hats and I'll show you that design at the end of the video. But also now you guys can make your own one-off super rad hat. You guys are gonna love it, which means other people are gonna love your hat. And Printify is the way you can make your custom hat for everyone to buy. So Printify is a printing website where you can not only create and sell like custom hats, but they also have custom shirts, hoodies, ceramics, Christmas ornaments, the whole lot. So two of the two of my favorite things about Printify is there's no initial cost, you don't have to like pay anything up front, and no storage. They handle all the shipping and all the packaging, all that good stuff. This is probably the easiest way to create like a brand, sell some stuff with very minimal effort. So you guys can focus on the important stuff like creating more, making more designs, making cooler stuff. They handle all the rest. Printify also has really good prices. So the margins are really great. For example, you can get like a t-shirt for six bucks. And then if you sell it at 25, that's $19 that you get to keep in your pocket. They have over 200 products, like I was saying, t-shirts, socks, blah, 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 mugs. I think, like I said, Christmas ornaments. I don't know why I'm stuck on Christmas ornaments, but I'm gonna make them and give them to all my friends for Christmas. So you can sell whatever you want. And here's how it works. You choose a product that you wanna sell, upload the custom design, and then like adjust it, make sure it looks just how you want it. So then you can order samples of that chosen product that you want and make sure it looks and feels how you want it. You can then integrate onto your shop, so that whether it's Etsy, eBay, Shopify, blah, 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 all those goodies. They were even telling me that some guy just like, just barely opened up a shop and did like 200, K sells in one week or something wild. So again, a huge thank you to Printify for sponsoring this video. So they're doing something rad and they're gonna give you $5 off your first order. So let's say you're gonna get a $6 shirt, you can get that first shirt for a dollar. Pretty cool, I don't know. Cool. And all you gotta use is the code schmood 5 I guess I gotta write it this way so you can see it. schmood 5 And that link's also in the description below. So cool. And, and like I said, I'm gonna be doing a limited run of these, I was super stoked. I did this on the last video and was pretty surprised at how quick it sold out. So I'm gonna keep on doing that and probably limit them to like smaller batches. So like 25, 50. That way you can all have something unique that not everyone else has. Here, here, here it is with the image superposed right here because I haven't got them made yet. By the time this video is live, I think they're all gonna be made. So that's cool. And also I'm in a new studio space. I'll show you what it looks like, but this is where I'm gonna be filming and editing. And I'm gonna be doing a collaboration with the lovely Rachel Metz, who I think we're gonna like do a virtual thing where like she decorates it somehow virtually. I don't know, I'm super stoked for it. So should be good. And yeah. Cool. All right, so good old staples. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. If you haven't hit the bell button, hit the bell notification because I don't know, you're probably subscribed and you don't even see my videos anyways. Might as well hit that bell notification if you want to see it. And this leopard video will be coming soon. Like the next one or the one after that maybe?